Grievous because he was the first, he was the new character that was going to be in episode three, the, the big you know villain. And uh, I had been processing and processing actors coming in. We we did probably about thirty or forty different actors from all over the world: Australia, London, L.A. Um, and George just no, 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 no. Just kept saying no, no, no. This isn't right. This isn't right. But I kept hearing him explain the character so many times to so many different actors that I would heard all the nuances of what he wanted. So the last casting package that came through my office, I was with my friend, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to do it myself. So I did, and I submitted it to George anonymously, because I didn't want, I didn't want my, you know, the name Matthew Wood on there, because he knows me, he's mm-hmm. some kind of influence or not influence. So I just said, what are you trying to do? Get that out of there. You know, so I, I did it, I submitted it under the name A. Smitty. It's kind of like this anonymous name that people in the film business Yeah, like use. Alan Smithy. Alan Smithy, Smithy yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so uh, he picked it. And I remember hearing, I got the call from our producer, Rick McCallum, and he was like, so George wants this uh, A. Smithy guy, so tell me who his agent is and uh, we'll get him out here and report him. Uh, 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 that's me. And, and that's how you broke it to him? Yeah, well, I didn't tell him. I said, yeah, I'll get right on that. Uh-huh. And I was just like, and I was just freaking out a little bit. Like, did I just, like, Jake, did some boundary issue that I just cross over? But, but uh, and I slept on it. The next day I told him, and, he, and George was actually really happy about it. We came down the next day. We recorded the whole thing in, like, five hours. And then, you know, over time we changed a few of the performances. But I, I think uh, it was just, he was happy because I was local. You know, he could change the performance any time he wanted. So he was such a public actor back then. And I had been doing acting myself on the, on the at American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, and mm-hmm. taking some I've done some college plays, and I was just trying to keep that up. And so it was a good balance. I actually got to do both acting and my sound work at once. And so for me, it was really a satisfying experience. That really is great. Yeah. That's very congratulations. That's really.